Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to walk you around this year's San Diego Comic Fest 2022. A very, well, as, as self-described, very intimate comic festival, San Diego Comic-Con-ish, right? And uh, this year it was held at the Four Points Sheraton Hotel. And I'll tell you right up front, this is not the usual hustle and bustle of San Diego Comic-Con or a large Comic-Con at that. It is very much a small comic convention. So it takes you about two to three hours to kind of go through everything, maybe see a panel or two. They have lots of comic book artists and writers and special guests, TV stars and everything like that. And yes, it was a lot of fun, but I did see it all in about two and a half hours for the time that I went. I can tell you honestly that if you're coming down to San Diego for the day, come by this convention and then go and enjoy all of San Diego. Stop by uh, Not Not Tacos or something like that. Uh, go to Little Italy. Just go have fun in San Diego because you're not going to need a whole heck of a lot of time unless you stay for the panels, of course, which you can find all that online. But in other case, uh, this was a lot of fun. So thank you to everyone at San Diego Comic Fest for having me by to take you on this tour. So... Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, and if you don't like the music choices, put it on mute. I will pop in here and there during this video just to kind of talk about some stuff, but I totally get it. May not be your thing. But in other case, this is a look at the San Diego Comic Fest 2022. Enjoy. <laughs>
Now this was just one of those uh, walls where they had all of these Ninja Turtles in bags. What's better than going to a, a Comic Con, Comic Fest, right, and seeing uh, bagged up action figures, I tells you what. But they had a lot of different figures, a lot of which I already have, of course. Uh, not a lot of people there had, let's say, weapons, that's kind of what more uh, I'm looking for these days as opposed to actual figures. Instead of having to buy them all over again and, uh, you know, just to get the weapons. But uh, that's what kind of makes it fun, right? You take your time, you find it when you find it. And that's uh, that's really the fun of collecting. But, uh, yeah, they had a lot of uh, great figures on display. And a lot of these were very much complete, which is always uh, a great thing. But, again, I didn't get any Ninja Turtles. I'll, I'll show you at the end exactly uh, what I picked up. It was a lot of uh, fun stuff, little things here and there that uh, really add to the collection. Didn't go crazy, tried to kind of reel it in, right? A lot of new stuff coming out, but uh, the old stuff is really what's hitting me uh, with the nostalgia one and just kind of the fun of collecting it again, whereas uh, the new stuff, yeah, you can just go to the store anytime you want, but it's the old stuff, that's the challenge, am I right? <laughs> Thank you.
Now this was actually kind of funny because I remember this at a comic book store years ago. They had this exact thing. It's like it was packaged wrong, right? But error. <laughs> But that's actually pretty funny. But uh, actually, going through and filming this, I didn't even notice until the last second. But when I said previously, I didn't pick up anything Ninja Turtles. Well, technically I did. I did pick up this uh, Savage Dragon, She Dragon figure. Now this, this was actually pretty cool. I haven't seen one of these for years. This is a Batman the Animated Series sound target set. One of the only, uh, at least artwork wise, I can think of where they included Kyodai Kent, but just another piece of history, uh, very well taken care of. Now you previously just saw the real Ghostbusters lunch bags. Didn't have those, but I totally had Spider-Man the Animated Series ones. I totally remember grabbing those. Those were at Stater Brothers. Used to go and pick them up. That was a blast from the past, that tells you what.
This was actually a treat seeing right here, this Jurassic Park sticker fun. Totally had one of those. It was like in pristine condition. Not something I picked up, but uh, just, you know, bringing back the memories tenfold.
So that's really going to wrap up my walk around at San Diego Comic Fest 2022. And again, thank you to, uh, you know, especially like Mark's Vintage. Please do check them out. I'll have all the information down in the description below. So that way you can uh, check it out for yourself. Maybe you saw something in the video. Maybe you want to email them or something like that. Uh, I had a great time. Like I said, a good two and a half, three hours was good enough for me. And it, like I said, by all means, stay for the panels and everything else. If you so choose, make a day out of it. Go down to San Diego and have a great time. This is just basically what I was able to pick up. Nice Spider-Man's and Batman's. got a little Power Ranger figure. And uh, like I said, I did get that She-Dragon from the Savage Dragon Playmates line. It's a very calm, very cool, very collected comic fest. And I do appreciate it. It's not the insanity of a huge Comic-Con. It's very much an intimate Comic-Con, and it suits me well, especially for just getting back out there, right? And going to Comic-Cons again and all that great stuff. So please definitely go check it out. Make a day out of it. Go have some great food. Drink some great coffee. And I really appreciate you watching the video. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.